hair. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? That's the first thing I notice about Zach Granke. Those flowing <laughs> locks. Mentioned. I've noticed that too. Now that you mentioned right? it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go to Chief Meteorologist Natasha stand back now for a look at that. She has amazing hair too. Yeah. She has great hair. <laughs> you guys. You know what? After kids, my hair's not the same. Anybody else experience that? Ladies out there, has your hair changed since having kids? <laughs> Jeff is, says he's lucky to have hair. Um, yeah, sometimes they either yank your hair out or it falls out because of nerves. 85 degrees right now in Portland, though. Let's focus on your forecast, which could include a little bit of rain, depending on where exactly you are. We're going to show you that here in just a second on the map. 65 right now, Mount Hood Meadows. Feels nice in the gorge. 83 looking out towards the east. And we go to Seaside, 69. Partly cloudy skies, and you'll see the best chance of rain right there at the coast, basically from Seaside North up into Washington. I just wanted to take you out to a view of Crater Lake where it's 83 degrees right now. We've been talking a lot about wildfires, and yesterday visibility here looked just a little bit worse. And for some of the surrounding airports where we're able to get visibility measurements, um, visibility is actually much better this afternoon compared to yesterday afternoon where it was down to about four miles. Now we're seeing at least 10 miles or more. Uh, air quality has also improved a little bit. Just outside of Medford, we're seeing air quality marks in the unhealthy for sensitive groups range, which believe it or not is better than what it was yesterday, which was in the plain old unhealthy for everybody category. Uh, as we go up to the north, though, into the Willamette Valley, that's where air quality is good, all the way out to central Oregon, too, and up to Olympia and Seattle. Current winds coming from the west, mostly uh, Corvallis up to 17 miles per hour. Let's look a bit, little bit farther south. Roseburg 9 out of the north, and northwest wind for you, Medford, at 13 miles per hour. So there's also tomorrow a chance to see thunderstorms cruise into central and eastern Oregon thanks to an area of low pressure sitting off to the southeast off of the map could help to generate some of those storms coming through. And in that case, yeah, we could have something to measure in terms of rain, but often this time of year too, we get thunderstorms with very little rain, but a whole lot of lightning. So we'll watch for that carefully tomorrow. Uh, meantime, looking at Friday early in the morning, most of you will probably be asleep, but the majority of the rain coming from this next front offshore will be in Washington. And just the tail end is going to drag through a portion of Northwest Oregon. And about as far south as we see it going right now, pretty much stops short of Roseburg. Any rain that does come through southwestern Oregon is going to be maybe a trace at best. But for the rest of the weekend, don't worry. Plenty of sunshine, nice and clear for you, all the way out to the Idaho border. Now, talking about those rainfall totals, let's just take a look at what we could possibly get. A few hundred seven inch Salem up to Portland, not expecting anything to measure in Madras or Bend. It's again, at the coast is where you will see the biggest numbers, and even these numbers are not all that big, perhaps close to two quarter of an inch. Tillamook, Astoria, just a little bit more than a tenth of an inch. So tomorrow's high is at the coast, and again, plenty of sunshine, low to mid 70s expected. Inland Valley temperatures, yes, we're going to bump it up a few more degrees, getting closer to that 90 degree mark in Portland. Pendleton 95, Madras 94, Bend 92, and Hood River up to 91. Seven day forecast with that chance of rain on Friday. 83, then hey, by Sunday, we're up to 90 degrees. All right, Natasha, thank you. Uh, we do